süß.
like the skirt, but yeah, I'm not very careful with them. I've scuffed them. I need to polish them really, but I don't have time for that in my life. I wear my shoes until they're falling apart, and they're falling apart at the moment, so. You might need some new shoes for Christmas. <laughs> Including nativity. Kids always crack me up. I'm like, I can't deal with you. Good morning, everybody. So good to see so many people here today. Welcome to, to another, another one, one of our, our Christmas, Christmas services. services. You are more than welcome. And, and it's, it's so great, great to see you. We're, We're going to start this service by singing a song together, which many of you will probably know of this song, which is O Come All Ye Faithful. So should we stand to our feet as we sing this song? Oh, come, all oh, ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. Oh, come, let Adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. God. Oh, come, let us 
adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Him, Christ the Lord. He alone is worthy, for He alone is worthy. For He alone is worthy. For He alone is worthy. Christ the Lord. We'll give Him. We'll give Him all the glory. We'll give Him all the glory. We'll give Him all the glory. Christ the Lord. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him, Christ the Lord. All right, take a seat, everyone. Welcome to Three Rivers. Good to see everyone. My name is Steve. If you don't know me, welcome. This morning we are having our nativity. We've got a nativity service, so that's why there's no children here at the moment. They're all next door, so they will be coming in in a little minute. If you're watching on live stream, it will the live stream will be cut uh, during the nativity part for uh, safeguarding reasons. But I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of it. Um, thanks to everybody who filled up the boxes with 23 Christmas boxes that we sent. It's pretty great. So well done, everyone. Give yourselves a round of applause. Did well there. And also thanks to those who uh, took out all the publicity. Thank you for everyone that did that. They've all gone. But there's extra was there. There's extra publicity. There's extra Hope magazines. Take them, give them away to friends and family this week. Um... Right, what else? There was leaflets in the foyer about uh, what used to be three days for the king. So we've got three days of prayer and fasting. It's now going to be called Set Apart, but that's happening in January. There's leaflets there about fasting, about how you can take part. We'll talk about it a bit later as we get nearer that, all right? Um, Hope Gazebo is happening, so it's this weekend. So from the first thing in the morning, from 9 a.m., you can be at the gazebo if you'd like to help talk to people about Jesus or just give out leaflets, the Hope magazines, uh, just to be there, have a presence in the center of town. Speak to the Elphix. There they are. Give us a wave, Elphix. They're the ones to speak to if you're interested in that. And then also it's uh, the Nativity and the Carols is happening at noon. So there's going to be carol singing. There's going to be an outdoor nativity all happening at noon. So all of us can be there for that if you're, if you're around at noon on Saturday in the middle of town. Come and support that. Carols by Candlelight is Monday the 18th, so that's a week tomorrow. Yes, a week tomorrow, Carols by Candlelight here, 7 p.m. We still need mince pies for that, thanks to those who supplied it for the outdoor event uh, on Friday, but uh, we need some more mince pies for Monday, a week on Monday. Right, okay. That is it. Wow. Okay. So we got our offering in the next song. And then there's going to be a second offering today. Every Christmas we have what we call our Christmas offering. And that is we give that to charities uh, that we have links with. This, we, this year we're going to be splitting it between the King's Arms Project, who have just opened a night shelter for the homeless, again, over Christmas and over the winter. Um, so we're going to be giving some to them to Starfish who um, are helping get women out of trafficking situations, and Food Bank, uh, giving food to the poor and the needy. So those are all things that, especially at Christmas time, need our help. So the second offering will be that, and then there'll be other opportunities uh, to give into that over Christmas as well. Right. Okay, so let me just read some scripture at Christmas time, we think about Jesus as being the gift that was given to the whole world. Yeah. And Romans 6 says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus 
our Lord. The wages of sin of death. Sin has royal consequences. And that consequence is death. And not being allowed to live forever with our Lord and Savior. But Jesus was sent at Christmas thousands of years ago as a little baby to live a life as a human. He is a special gift that was given to us by God to say, I want you to be with me for eternity. I want you to be rescued, to be saved, and to be brought back to me. That was the gift of Jesus at Christmas. And that's who we're here to worship and to celebrate and to see the nativity of the story of what happened at Christmas this morning. So let's worship him. Amen. King of Kings. In the darkness we were waiting without hope, without light, till from heaven you came running. There was mercy in your eyes to fulfill the law and prophets. To a virgin came the word from a throne of endless glory. To a cradle in the dirt Praise the Father Praise the Son Praise the Spirit Three in one God of glory majesty praise forever to the king of kings Till that stone was moved for good, for the Lamb had conquered death. And the dead rose from their tombs, and the angels stood in awe. For the souls of all who come to the Father are restored. And the church of Christ was born, then the Spirit lit the flame. Now this gospel truth of old shall not kneel, shall not faint. By his blood and in his name, in his freedom I am free. For the love of Jesus Christ, who has resurrected me. Praise the Father, praise the Son, praise the Spirit, three in one, God of glory, majesty, praise forever to the King of kings. 
In the darkness we were waiting Without hope, without light Till from heaven you came running There was mercy in your eyes To fulfill the law and prophets To a virgin came the word From a throne of endless glory to a cradle in the dirt. Let's just take a moment just to reflect on some of the words that we're singing. a child is born a son is given a son is given for to us a child is born a son is given a son is given the Messiah oh to see him to see him high and lifted up Shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing, Holy, Holy, Holy. For to us a child is born, a son is given, a son is given. For to us a child is born. A son is given, a son is given, the Messiah. Oh, to see him, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing, holy, holy, holy. To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing, holy, holy, holy. Thank you. 
blessed child is born. Holy, holy, holy. For to us a child is born. To us a child is born. Holy, holy, holy. For to us a child is born. Holy, holy, holy. To see him high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. To see him high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. We want to see you. Let's have prayers of worship, prayers of adoration, prayers of thanksgiving to the King of Kings. Jesus, we just welcome your presence this morning. Just getting a, a sense as we're here, you know, this is a time when we're also, we're longing for Jesus. We're longing for him to come. Yes, he's come once, but also we're longing for the Christ still. We're longing for him to come more into our lives at this time, into the brokenness of our lives and we're longing for him to come back to this world again. Amen. So I just felt a moment, you know, we, we could rush through singing some songs. But maybe we just need to acknowledge that Jesus is here in our midst, in our pain, in our joys, yep. in our sicknesses and illnesses. He's with us. Um, so maybe let's just, as Josh just ministers on the piano... Just receive Jesus this morning. Come, Lord Jesus. Maybe you want to close your eyes, but the Lord is here. The Lord is here. Jesus, we thank you that you came from a throne of endless glory to a cradle in the dirt. Lord, whatever that looked like, it was not a nice place. But you came into it. You came into our darkness and you brought light. You came into our suffering and you took our suffering upon yourself. Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for this season of longing that we're, we live in. And we just say we want you, Jesus. We love you. We love who you are. We love the things that you do, Lord, and the things that you've done. And we love the things that you will do. You are the healer of our broken hearts. You are the healer of our sin-sick lives. You took our sins upon yourself. Come in again, Lord. We long for you to come in again. Oh, come, oh, come. Emmanuel. Thank you, Jesus. Just begin to express things to the Lord as you're comfortable, as you're as you're able, just begin to pray out in silence or, or out loud together. Let's just welcome the King of Kings to our midst today. 
We welcome you, Jesus. We welcome you. And the Spirit of God's just moving all over this place in a gentle way. It's okay. If there's tears, that's all right, isn't it? Because this is a family. So if, if you need to just weep gently or loudly, you can. The Spirit of the Lord is resting on this place. On you, Jenny and Andy. On Dorota and Colin, the Spirit of God's resting on you. On NC. On Miles and Daniel, the Spirit of God's resting on you. Helen, the Spirit of God is resting on you. Phoebe, the Spirit of God is resting on you. Just receive his love. Carol, the Spirit of God is resting on you. It's okay to lament. It's okay to express what's inside of us. If you're not feeling anything or nothing's going on, just pray for those who are around. Just lift up this church to the Jesus now. Yeah, Margaret, the Spirit of God is resting on you. June, the Spirit of God is resting on you. Margaret, June. We wait for yeah, let's you. continue in our worship. We wait for We're not going to rush. Thank you, Lord. We wait yeah. for you. We wait for you to come. We wait for you. We wait for you to move. We wait for you, we wait for you to move. We long. We wait for you, we wait for you to move. We wait for you, we wait for you to move. We wait for you, we wait for you. There's just a sense of uh, burden for family, burden for friends, burden for children, burden for parents. Whatever's too heavy for us, we can give. He can carry it. He can carry it. Cast all your anxieties onto him. He understands you. We lay it down, we lay it down. We lay it down, we lay it down at your feet. We lay it down, we lay it down at your feet. We lay it down, we lay it down at your feet. We wait for you, we wait for you to move. We wait for you, we wait for you to move. We lay it down at your feet. We lay it down. We lay it down at your feet.
King of all days, oh so highly exalted, glorious in heaven above. Humbly you came to the earth you created, all for love's sake became poor. Yes, you did. So here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy. All together wonderful to me And I'll never know How much it costs To see my sin Upon that cross And I'll never know How much it costs to see my sin upon that cross and I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross and I'll never know how much it costs Thank you so much to the worship team for leading us into God's presence this morning. It's great, isn't it, to be in God's presence and to um, just to express ourselves to him. We're going to continue um, that in, um, I'm going to share what we call words of knowledge. And that's one of the spiritual gifts where God speaks to us some specific words that he wants to minister into us this morning. So maybe there is one for you as you listen to them. In your heart, you just um, know that God is speaking to you. And if that happens, it's because he wants to actually do something. He wants to bring transformation in your life to minister into that. So whether you're watching it online or you're sitting here, um, I'm going to read them out and there will be a chance to respond in prayer. So the ones this morning is that... um, Somebody's being pulled off the path and a reminder to to keep your eyes on Jesus, to resist looking around you at the things around which are trying to sort of lure you off, to keep on that path, to keep your eyes on him, not to the side. There's somebody with a a painful swollen gland, possibly in the neck or the um, throat area. And then, um, as Mark was talking about, I believe there's, there's those who really want to long to respond and to have more of Jesus um, and opportunity for you to respond to that. Somebody who's feeling lost and lonely in a dark place, and there's a prophetic word out of that which says, don't be afraid, for I see you and I know all about your circumstances. Although you may not feel it or see it, I'm sitting right there with you. I'm waiting for you to pour out your heart to me. Come, talk to me. Don't be afraid to talk to me about your pain and your loss and your loneliness. 
As you talk to me about these things, my ears are ever open to hear you. My eyes are always upon you, for you're very precious to me. Don't be afraid to let your tears flow, for I'm close to the brokenhearted. I'm the only one who can heal your broken heart, fill your sense of emptiness with my love. Remember, my dear one, that I love you. I'm holding you and your circumstances safely in the hollow of my hand. So don't be afraid. Trust me, for I am your loving father, and I'm working for your good. So anybody who felt that maybe one of those words was for you, I'd invite you to indicate that by standing or by waving a hand, and we'd like to pray. We're not going to ask what you're responding to, but we just, um, we're just going to take the opportunity to pray. And if you're listening online, please respond to. Okay, so those who are standing, maybe um, others could go and just stand with them. We're not going to ask them what they're standing for. We're just going to pray uh, for them and invite the God of power to speak the name of Jesus over their situations. So, Father God, we thank you for speaking this morning. We thank you that you want to act on behalf of those who are responding. And in the name of Jesus, we speak healing over them. We speak transformation. We pray that by your Holy Spirit, you will come and minister whatever it is they are responding to. The God of hope, we speak hope over you. We speak power. We speak healing. And we thank you, Father God, that you are at work, that your name is powerful. In Jesus' name. Amen. So I can see that as we've been um, having our words of knowledge, we've um, had a number of uh, interesting characters appear. So let's pray for them and then we will hand over. I think Darren's going to say something. Father, we thank you for our young people and children and we just want to pray your Holy Spirit over them as they um, show us something of the, the Christmas story. We thank you for all their preparation and we, uh, we just pray your presence will continue with us. Amen. Amen. Brilliant. I'm just waiting for a nod in a moment. So, yeah, so we're, we're privileged this morning. We welcome the Royal Shakespeare Company.